Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Salom from Ghana, and um, I work with University of Energy and Natural Resources, one of the youngest universities in Ghana, barely 10 years of existence. And uh, currently I work with the IT directorate. So today we are here to share a story that I got some kind of inspiration from uh, with respect to how the young and the old relate in terms of knowledge, in terms of like strength battling. So I'm going to share my screen. The characters place who is ready to take Venamore. I can take. Uh, Divya. Yokahanen. Uh, I can be Salorum if there is no one else. Okay, Georgia. Yokahanen. Okay. okay, so Nazifa, you, you can be narrator one. Okay. okay. Na narrator two. I can take narrator two. Jeff, narrator three. Anna. So Calliope, narrator four. Narrator five. Okay, I will try. Uh, okay, you you try. Yeah, Narita six. I'll do six if none of the new people want to read. Please. Okay. So uh, are we good to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I find my power in a chant. I win my magic from a song. But can I find a woman's warmth? And can I find a maiden's love? This sad song sang by Namonian. Old Martian, ancient sage. As his sleigh ran over the marsh, span along the lake. The wind blew his beard. The summer sun warmed him. Around the bed, another sleigh raced. Full speed down the trail, the young man pressed. No time to stop, <laughs> no time to turn aside. The horses swerved, the sleighs collided. Shaft wedged against shaft, harnesses entangled. The drivers nearly tumbled out. As to next, the eyes is a door waited for words. The horse dripped sweat, pawed the ground. Young man, said we no man. Who are you who drive so recklessly? I'm Yuka Hainan, said the youth. Old man, who are you who got in my way? I am Vainamarnan. Now move your sleigh and let me by, for youth must ever give way to age. That was in a time long past. Age must now make way for youth, for the youth know more than the old. Is this true? Say what you know then. Share this great knowledge. Yes, I know a thing or two. I know the fire is on the hearth and the smoke hole near the ceiling. A plow in the south is pulled by a horse and in the north by reindeer. The pike feeds on salmon and lays its eggs when frost arrives. An infant knows as much. What else can you offer? Iron comes from ore, copper from the rock, water is born from the mountains, fire from the heavens. The titmouse was the first of birds, the willow the first of trees. A toddler had such wisdom. Can you furnish nothing better? Back in the beginning, the seas were dug out and the mountains piled high. The pillars of the sky were erected and the rainbow raised. The sun and moon were set on their paths and the stars scattered in the sky. Know yourself a fool. For I dug out the seas, and I piled high the mountains. I stood among the seven heroes who erected the pillars of the sky and raised the rainbow. And when that was done, we set the sun and moon on their paths and scattered the stars of the heavens. If my knowledge does not impress you, my sword may do better. Old man, draw your blade. My sword stays where it is. I would not dirty it on you. You won't fight? Then I'll use great magic on you. 
I'll chant you to a pig, change you to a swine. After that, I'll strike you dead, throw you on a dunk hill. Then Vanamonian grew angry. He began to chant. The ad shook, the sky rumbled. Water splashed from the lake, the stones cracked. Vainamoinen chanted. And the sword of Jukahainen became lightning bolts across the sky. His crossbow turned to a rainbow over the lake. He arose to hawks overhead. Vainamoinen chanted. And the sleigh of Jukahainen became a log in the water. His horse turned to a boulder on the shore, his whip to a reed on the bank. Vainamonen chanted. And the coat of Jukahainen became a cloud in the sky. His head turned to a water lily on the lake, his well to a snag among the reeds. Vainamonen chanted. And Jacqueline sunk in the marshy ground. Up to his waist in the shallow earth. Reverse your words, undo your spells. I will give you a hat full of silver, a helmet full of gold. Keep your wealth, my coffers overflow. He chanted again, and Yoka Heinen sank to his chest. Reverse your words, undo your spells. I will give you fields for plowing, meadows for pasture. Keep your land, my farm stretches beyond sight. He chanted again, and Yuka Heinen sang to his chin. Reverse your words, undo your spells. I will tell you of the fairest woman, the finest maiden. Vainamoinen stopped his chant. She is Lavi Ayla. Maiden of Northland, daughter of age old Lohi. She's called a blossom sweet to smell, a fruit ripe to pluck. Her fame spreads far, the suitors gather, but no proposal has she smiled on, no suitor given the nod. Then Vainamoinen chanted again. It was his words and did his tells. Jukahainen rose from the marshy ground, up from the Shallowing, a shallowing earth. The cloud became again his cloud. The water lily turned back to a hat, the snake to a, bill, a belt. The log became again its leg. The boulder turned back to a horse, the reed to a whip. The lightning became again his sword. The rainbow turned back to a crossbow. The hawks to arrows. The young man whipped in shame. The old man raced for home. Very good, Selor. Very good. Wow. I like this. Nice I one. Love that story, huh? Yeah. I absolutely love this experience. What did you think of the story, Anna? Honestly, I was so concentrated on my part and the words, but uh, it's really meaningful a gap between uh, the young and the adults. Um, of course, it's big, but we all will be there in our time. And uh, we have to keep in mind that we don't have much wisdom like adults have and the elder people have. And um, we, we all we can do is respect each other. This is actually the case many times i mean young people have a conflict with older ones because they uh do not understand that maybe older people do have a bigger package okay and um like they're the young ones are being arrogant at times and they think they know everything and they question that like the older ones know um and that was a good way to uh to show like to show what he knows best, okay? And to put the younger one um, in his place, okay? Um, used, okay, the younger one used power, he tried to be fierce and vindictive, and then the older one would just like do something and he would start singing. So it, it was a very beautiful story, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it just came to me while we were about the again.
it it was a it was a, a script that uh, brought me back to middle ages uh, to fantasy land to uh, the lord of the ring something the way it was uh, structured the only thing that uh, a bit disappointed me was the fact that the, the end was really you know abrupt it came like that and then maybe it is for us to proceed and think what will happen next but i really liked it i really liked it love is very important whether you are old or young and it was really interesting and when the last uh, sentences in the narrator six and narrator one was saying i just was waiting for more and i wanted to have more about this story i was really in this story and enjoying it well you know what's really cool about being in a gmrt is that you can now take that story and move it along a little further what do you think might happen now ah they should race to the maiden's house yes yes i love putting the ideas okay maybe instead of racing to his house he should race to the maiden's house and that will be fun <laughs> but uh, did he knew about did he know about the rest that race of the maiden's house what i was thinking both of them would rush to the maiden's house and then again they'll have a clash over there so in the first round the old man wins in the second round the young man would win because yesterday what we did with my story was about how important it is to take a child's point of view and today we are doing an antithesis so i think this is a very perfect thing you know because it's the, in the end you just realize that we have to value each and every one's opinion and age doesn't matter i think yeah um so uh georgia mentioned that love is important not always material thing you know i when you read further the story you can see that the old man was really yearning for a companion he wasn't having a companion so he was yearning for a companion so when the young man promised giving him the maiden oh my god he was damn crazy he quickly reversed the chance and that that is a way of like revoking your chance or your cases some part is a case or is a magic that is cursing on the young man but when the young man pleases him with a maiden how happy he was because he he, he had everything because he is one of the most powerful magicians of that time so he could do everything but yet he was alone he couldn't get anybody as a companion so the young man knowing that this man is alone and this is how to please him use that to appease him at the end so i think in one way or the other when our parents you know when they are mad at us we appease them in one way or the other this is a long this is an epic uh, piece of work this is just a little short yeah a little part of it out of it isn't it yeah. yeah so we don't really know there's more to the front and the back of it we just don't know what that is so hello when you mentioned a companion it brought uh, to me to my mind uh, actually frankenstein where the creature asked the uh, his creator to make a, a woman for him so that would make him happy nothing else even when he was hated by the whole world because of his appearance if he had a companion he would be happy so companion that that what brought me uh, to my mind how how do we feel the young ones how do we feel how do we see our elderly people sometimes I think as a youngster and I'm just thinking of actually of an incident more recently with my grandson and my son who grandson is is going to be turning 18 soon as a senior in high school is doing wow. a lot of bodybuilding you know and all that <laughs> well the other day he decided to challenge dad now oh. my son 
isn't all that old, but he has a lot of physical ailments with his shoulders and his back and everything. But I'll tell you, he put my grandson down, you know, he did. And, um, and after that, there's a realization of m more respect, I think. Okay. He challenged, he lost my grandson, but he, um, uh, my son wasn't, wasn't like, you see, you see, now don't do this again. But it was, it was a, it was a lesson learned, but not pushed in on. And uh, after that was, it was over, you know? So, and we all come up to periods of time when somebody's going to challenge you. And sometimes that challenge has a validity to it. And I, I think it's important to listen to everyone, even if they are young, because their ideas often have a great deal of validity to it. Tracy, you brought up just a really meaningful topic to discuss for our discussion. Uh, because um, I was like that before. I thought that I have to be always right and I can't make any mistakes. I have to know everything, every word, and etc. As, as far as I'm English teacher. Um, but then now I, uh, I'm not ashamed to say that, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that, but I will uh, look up this word or let's do it together. I just try to show them the way how they can do it by themselves so they can uh, find the world, they can uh, learn more about this wor word or even the platform as we are in the remote way of learning. And uh, now we are discovering lots of <laughs> it do tools online. And um, I'm not ashamed to say that I don't know. It's a very interesting, a very good topic. Um, and it's it, uh, the respect for the older people uh, I mean, uh, is uh, a cultural thing. And uh, every society has a little different uh, uh, emphasis. I, I remember uh, many years ago when I was in Africa, there was much more respect for the older people than uh, maybe in the American culture. And, uh, but see, at the same time, I've had different people over the years, you know, work for me. And I, I remember one young person and uh, he was always asking questions and he was always kind of challenging. And I, it was, as a young person, it was his way. I, it, I, I, sometimes I uh, thought about it as being, uh, as cooperative. And, but it was, what he was doing was he, he didn't understand something or he needed to learn something. And the way he did it was by, uh, uh, you know, asking a lot of questions and uh, not agreeing uh, with uh, uh, what, you know, was questioning what, you know, what needed to be done next. And it was just his way of asking for guidance as to, uh, uh, what what it was, uh, and uh, it was kind of interesting. But each uh, individual has a you know. There's always that, I guess, conflict or uh, between the young and the old, and uh, maybe that conflict is basically the young people trying to understand and to grow and to learn. Well, you know, Blaze, I always say, I always say learning can't happen if we don't ask questions. That, <laughs> that is, yeah. that is the whole beginning in the matrix learning cycle is well, asking questions. You know, one of the things that I've noticed is because of my education being online, it's, uh, you know, on, on the computer and a lot of the, especially the older teachers, they have a certain amount of, uh, they, they don't know as much as the young people about the computer, about technology. And uh, so uh, there's a tendency for uh, the older teachers to kind of resist the use of technology because their students often will know more about it than they, and the teachers used to being 
the smartest person in the room. <laughs> that's their normal position. <laughs> and when that's challenged, they're, uh, uh, shall we say, uncomfortable. <laughs> and uh, so that's a, a, a kind of an interesting dynamic that is currently uh, occurring. I was listening to Anna and her stories. You now somehow it relates to all of us uh, going through an experience of real life, experiencing each thing, learning from our experiences. I think uh, the way I was uh, like listening in the childhood, we don't listen to what our parents say. But when we actually become parents, we realize that, that okay, what, is, uh, what were they saying at that point? But by the time we realize the fact, those days are gone. The day when we have to respect our parents, that's that's all we, we have missed everything. And so what I realized it, yes, both the generation has to change. According to me, what happens is when I'm in a classroom of 10 standard, now being a teacher, what I generally do is I look at my students in the way I was in the class while teaching. So you know, I understand their emotion. Like if I was that child, how would I have reflected to this question? If the child is not speaking. I related with one of my friends who was not speaking in the class. So it, it becomes uh, very easier for me to manage my classroom, uh, becoming a friend to the students rather than becoming a commanding teacher. That actually helps me a lot. I share about me. I, I am a very new one and um, I love the story. Uh, the pronunciation was uh, a little different and new. But the uh, deep meaning, yeah, it was really very heart touching. And uh, yes, always old is gold. And we will always respect old people. They are our pioneer. Thank you. Um, I think uh, time is running out. And uh, we would like to end the session here. I want to take this opportunity to Thank all of you for your time. And uh, I hope that we will continue sharing ideas as families and all that we are doing here. We are doing it for the good of ourselves and for the good of society so that we'll be able to transform society. Thank you very much. Yeah, and thank you. Uh, you uh, the, the topic of the young and old is an excellent topic. Thank you for bringing it up. Thank you. So oh, I want to thank people for coming to our open GMRT Global Matrix Research Community. Shalom, thank you. Thank you for your support. So, thank you. Uh, thank you.